Hey guys, Nathan here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an opening of 12 of the series 21 minifigures. Um, this series is set number 71029. I got 12 of them here. There's 12 minifigures in the series, so it's a little bit smaller than the normal ones. Hopefully I got out 12. I went to Walmart yesterday. I wasn't even expecting to find these, nor was I expecting to find any of the sets I had in my previous haul video. But I'm going to be opening these up right now and we'll just move these to the side and go one at a time. So... And I do have the list here on my iPad because I do not know the names off the top of my head. Oh boy, my camera wants to mess up. There we go. Okay, open the first one here. Oh, okay. So this is, I think it's called, I got the list right here. Why don't I look at it? Uh, Young Pilots, okay. Oh great, and the web page just crashed, so this should be fun trying to do the names now. All right, so this one's very easy to feel because there's this giant airplane piece, and I actually wasn't looking at the minifigure series when I was opening these, so I had no idea what I was feeling. I was just going off of the pictures on the box. So let me cut this open so I can actually look. Obviously, I think I know how this works, but I just wanna... So here's the checklist for the series. <clears throat> and then how you build each one. So this one's pretty straightforward. And some of these minifigures actually have a lot of elements. So it is very difficult to understand what you're feeling. And some of them do come in separate baggies within this packet. So it's also very difficult. Okay, so she has a hair piece. And then she also comes with a, uh, not a mask, but a helmet for flying. And then, the plane gets a propeller on the front. Okay, so some of these are kind of difficult with minifigure series, especially if you want to display them when they have an extra piece like this, but I can understand where they're coming at. So this is the pilot girl, I guess you could call her. My website's being stupid. Young pilot. So this is the young pilot. Obviously, just feel for the giant airplane piece. <clears throat> and then she comes with an additional hat and then additional pieces so that is the young pilot we are one for one so that's always good all right next up and i'm in the process of building a set here on the table so i am like way behind when it comes to building sets i have like 10 15 sets i need to get into right now so all right this looks like the my ipad just died well even better yeah my ipad's dead sweet so this is the castaway i know this one because it reminds me of tom hanks in Castaway. Um, this one I just felt for the giant hair piece that covers his entire face. And then obviously he has a bottle with a note in it, it looks like. What does that say? Someone's name. Can't really tell who, but... And then it comes with a little... Is he supposed to hold this guy? See, some of these are confusing. Where's the checklist? I don't know what some of these items are meant for. Oh, I gotcha. It's like a little stale. I thought that was supposed to hold him. Okay. So this is the snail. It's got a snail with it, I guess. So he has a bottle with a note in it and then a little snail, which is kind of cute. So that is the castaway. Obviously, just feel for the hair or the bottle. It's a kind of a dead giveaway with either one. So. All right, two for two. I think last series, which there was 16, I think I was perfect on that one. So let's try again. Okay, this is like the Space Alien Thief. Honestly, I think I like it more when I just come up with the names on my own because I have no idea what I'm I'm dealing with. And it looks like... <laughs> this reminds me of Chima because this used to be the piece for Chi in the Legends of Chima sets, which I wish they would bring back because I think Power Miners and Legends of Chima were like my two favorite like off-brand like random themes that they came up with. Also, this also reminds me of Space Police. Space Police which is also a theme I really liked. So that is the um, alien crook, I guess I'll call him. He's got a crowbar. Obviously, feel for the head. It's a little bit odd and weird. And then you can feel for the crowbar or this crystal that he obviously stole. All right, next up. One of these minifigures is probably the most obvious ones. Like, you literally can't mess it up. If I got a duplicate of him, I'd be very surprised. All right, and this is obviously the space police officer. Holy crap, he's got a lot. I'm going to look here at the sheets, see what I got to do. 
Some of these just come with like an insane amount of pieces. Like, I don't understand why. They feel a need to put in the pieces for the minifigure and then throw in like 10 extra pieces for each one. Um, that, and then he has a baton, and then he has a gun. Oh, sorry about the phone in the background. And then he has a shield. This guy just has absolutely everything. He's coming absolutely kitted. Oh, and he also has handcuffs. Man, this guy has everything. Come on. There we go. So this is the space police. Oh, and I have a shield upside down. Space police guy. Don't know the names now, unfortunately, but he's a cop and he's in space, I'm guessing. So that is him. Obviously, a lot of pieces. The shield is the main giveaway. I actually felt this body armor. That's what I felt for you. And then the handcuffs also gave it away. So, And then a whole bunch of extra pieces. Okay. Four for four. Let's keep it going. I think I might know what this one is. Yep. Okay, so this is like that. Aztec warrior. Something like that. This is going everywhere. Whoa. These, this is some really cool printing for the face and head. It's actually a double-sided face. I just noticed that. Come on, focus. Focus for me. Come on, focus. It's a little bit better. There we go. So he has a double-sided head, kind of an angry face, and then tattoos all around, and then a normal face. So I guess I gave him the angry face. And he has a big helmet. Obviously, feel for the big helmet. Dead giveaway. Didn't know what I was feeling at first because I wasn't really looking at the pictures. I was kind of just going off of what I felt. And then I felt the big headpiece. And then I also felt the shield. So, oops. Let me get him on his stand. That is the Aztec warrior, I'll call him. <clears throat> Very cool. Shield and a sword. Okay. Five for five. I think this is the. This might be the obvious one. I can't tell. There's a lot of big pieces. Of, yep. This is the very. This is like the most obvious. Let me get my camera to focus again. There we go. If you can't figure this one out, finding it, there's a serious problem because this piece is in the bag, and this is like, like that is very easy to feel. You can't accidentally misinterpret what this is. So I think this is a centaur woman. Is it a centaur? I'm gonna mess all this up. I'm really bad when it comes to mythical things. I really hope I'm not butchering that, but I know it's half person, half horse, so, or deer, or pony, or whatever. I'm terrible when it comes to these things. Oh, and she has a, she has a double-sided face as well, and she comes with a bow and arrow, and then a satchel on the back. Is the hair supposed to? I don't understand. Well, we'll just do that. I don't think the hair is supposed to go on while she's wearing this. Oh, I'm messing it up completely. I'm not good when it comes to these minifigure series. Let me see. Is there a Why am I messing up the easy ones? Oh, it's supposed to go on the... I see. It's supposed to sit on her haunches. That's why. I was like, why is that not working? <clears throat> okay, so this is the... I'm going to keep saying centaur woman, and I'm going to look it up after and realize that I'm wrong and feel like an idiot. But, obviously, giant legs, dead giveaway, or you can feel for the apple, but you don't really need to. Just feel for the massive legs that will stand out the second you pick up the pack. Um, see if I can get her to stand on here. There we go. So, that is her. We're halfway there. We're six for six. I don't know how my scissors got way over here. Up. oh yeah this is the very last one i found which is the surfer very last one i had to feel for the dolphin obviously another obvious feeling feel for the aztec the centaur and this surfer are like the easiest ones to find because they have massive pieces that you can't really mess up um okay okay i'm gonna put her on her board and then put her on here or should I say it's a paddle surfer because she comes with a paddle? Paddle surfer with a dolphin. So just feel for the dolphin. It's a massive piece. 
very obvious to feel for and i don't really know how this is supposed to go in here so that's just gonna sit like that and that's the paddle sleeper with the dolphin we're seven for seven and we're eight for eight this is the violin boy i guess you could call him kid with violin double-sided head as well Let's see if i can get this to focus he's got a normal face and then kind of like a <clears throat> i am loving the way my violin sounds if this isn't a violin i'm not <laughs> i'm not good with instruments i'm not good with mythical creatures i'm not good with whatever these items are supposed to be i gotta look at the list oh it's uh to kind of instruct everyone to listen the uh kind of reminds me of harry potter okay They don't want to be, they, these minifigures want to be difficult with me today. But that's the violin boy, violin kid. Feel for the violin. And that little piece comes attached to another one, so it's kind of hard to feel for. You don't really know what you're feeling. But that is the violin kid. One more, we're eight for eight. And we're nine for nine. This is the, oh. I'm gonna butcher this. I don't know. Um, Create woman. Uh, I don't know. You just feel for this massive hair piece, which her head is already in it. My camera wants to keep unfocusing. Sometimes the minifigures will come with the heads already stuck in the headpiece, and then it's very difficult to feel for what you need. Does this go around? Man, these they just make them so difficult on me. They can't make them easy. Everyone else is like, dude, this is so easy. How do you keep messing this up? I'm not good with I'm not good with minifigure series anymore. I've messed them up a lot in the past. So this lady comes with a whole bunch of stuff. I think my only complaint about these is they add too many accessories and things that just are not needed within the set. Like we don't need this you could just give her a microphone and have her hold it. You making us build a stand and I think some of this is just unnecessary, but I'm going to say she's the parade woman. Kind of reminds me of the movie Rio with the birds. But that is her. Very sparkly. Just feel for the giant headpiece. She has a microphone stand and a little skirt dress thingy. So that is her. We are nine for nine. Three more. And we are ten for ten. Ladybug girl. All right. This is one of the last ones I found. I felt for, for the back piece here. My camera just loves to keep... It wants to focus when I don't want it to, and then it fo doesn't focus when I need it to. So just feel for the... Um, either the, the hair piece is rubbery, so it's very easy to find, or the legs. And then she just gets... I don't even know what... <laughs> oh, okay. It's supposed to be a plant with a ladybug on it. Gotcha. So, comes with a little plant. Come on. There we go. With a little ladybug on it, and then she's a ladybug. And it comes with an extra one, so you get a nice one-by-one one round printed ladybug piece. So, there she is. And there goes the ladybug piece. We have a 10 for 10. We have two more. I think I need Pug Boy. And this is Pug Boy. And I don't know what the last one is. Oh, Beekeeper. And I'm like 95% positive I have him. He was kind of the only one that I was questioning. He has a double-sided face. Happy and then dog-like. <laughs> Tongue out. This is another one of my favorite. I love this one. Anything that has to do with the animals. You know, the pigs, the giraffe one, I think. The dog. I like all of these. I hope they continue to do these. And he comes with a little blue bone. Feel for the headpiece or the bone. I just felt for the bone. Easiest for me. That is the pug boy. And last one. This is the beekeeper. I am 100%. And I am. Sweet. I think that's back-to-back -back series. I got them in one go, which I'm happy about. Because I kid you not, from like series like 13 on, I was making mistake after mistake. He also has a double side face. Tongue out because he's collecting honey. He's probably hungry. And then just a normal face. So I'll give him the normal face for now. And then he gets this giant shield piece. Obviously, just feel for that. 
very easy to find. And then I actually, the thing I found for this was the two by two tile, the honeycombs. This one was the easiest to find for me. And then it comes with his little, does this go on here? Oh, it does. Wait, is that how it goes? Man, I'm not good with these right now. Oh, upside down. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Turn this around. All right. So he comes with his little thing that lets out the smoke so the bees calm down and they don't attack when they open the hive. So that is the beekeeper man with the honeycomb. Feel for the headpiece. That's obviously going to be the e easiest thing. Or the 2x2 two two tile because none of these other minifigures have 2x2 two two tiles. So it's an, you automatically know it's the beekeeper. So that is series, what is this, 21? Series 21. Only 12 minifigures, very easy to find. I think this is the easiest series I've had in a long time. I've had I've been struggling in the past, so I'm glad that this one went went pretty smoothly for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this opening. If you did, please hit the like button and comment down below what your favorite minifigure is in, in the series. And please do consider subscribing. I love all the support I have. I know I'm, I think I'm only at about 15 subscribers right now, but I'm thankful for every single one I have because I really enjoy do making these videos for you guys. And I hope you love the content I'm putting out. Um, I should be having a video here pretty soon doing a, either a room update or just kind of an update on what I'm doing down here because I have a lot going on and I'm backed up a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.